Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pharmacy India. So today we are going to discuss or we are going to start the special mock series for Telangana pharmacist student because we are receiving many messages, many notifications, many comments in our comment box, sir, that please start a special series for Telangana or South student in English. So as promised, we are here with a special mock series of Telangana pharmacist and it is a series of 25 mock papers. In this, we will discuss subject wise mock papers and today we are going to start with the pharmaceutics and it is a mock paper one. In particular mock paper, we are going to discuss 25 questions with their detailed explanation and with the reference that from which book or from which page number we have taken the explanation or answer. So let's start without wasting any single minute. So before starting, if you, have, if you have not downloaded the Pharmacy India mobile app, then please download it now. Why? Because it is going to be very, very helpful for pharma exam and drug inspector exam. And you can join us on WhatsApp and Telegram for latest pharma updates regarding jobs, regarding seminars. So let's start with the first question. And the first question is here on the screen is Maillard reaction in pharmaceuticals occurs due to the interaction of amine drugs with means the question is asked from the Maillard reaction that it is a kind of chemical in incompatibility. And in, in this question, the point is asked that the, from which compound mainly the amine interact and it cause Maillard reaction and it cause the chemical incompatibility. So answer is your lactose. So let me explain that how it is possible when we will take lactose, when we will take lactose as diluent, as diluent and with amine containing drug, amine containing drug means let's suppose isoniazid we have taken isoniazid isoniazid because in isoniazid there is an amine group so it cause the chemical incompatibility chemical incompatibility yes chemical incompatibility and it cause the discoloration discoloration of the tablet and that is known as Maillard reaction so Maillard reaction is your chemical incompatibility where lactose, we, if we will use lactose as diluent with the amine containing drug, then it causes the discoloration. So answer is your Maillard reaction is a form of chemical incompatibility between amine drug and lactose. And we have taken the answer from the essential of pharmaceuticals. Let's moving on. Second question that which test is used to assess the friability of tablet? As the question indicates, friability of tablet points options are hardness test, dissolution, or friability or weight variation. These are the evaluation parameters of tablet, and these are going to be very, very important for your competitive exam. Every year, the question asks from these types of evaluation. So make it a short note that we have to study these points. So, answer is your friability test. So what we do in friability, we check the friability of the particular tablet or of the particular batch with the help of Roche friabilator. This is the name of your instrument, Roche friabilator. Yes. And there are some specification of Roche friabilator. Let me tell you because the question asked from this. Mainly the Roche friabilator rotates in one minute is 25 RPM means per minute it takes 25 rounds and we have to do for four minutes so it takes totally 100 revolution 100 revolution and the percentage friability acceptability criteria is your percentage friability is your 0.5 to 1 percent this is the percentage friability if the percentage friability comes outside of this value then it means the tablet fails the test. Okay. Now moving on to the next question. 
which process is employed to prevent the segregation of powder particles of different sizes during blending means while we are doing blending so which process we we use to prevent the segregation segregation means when the powder gets come closer and make a slug thing so answer is your granulation yes by using granulation method we help or we make the granules by using the powder so granulation helps to prevent the segregation and there are three types of granulation first one is direct compression second one is double compression third one is wet granulation so these are the three types of granulation okay so answer is this let's moving on to the next question which of the following is used as super disintegrant in tablet formulation options are magnesium stearate option b is microcrystalline cellulose option c is sodium starch glycolate or option d is tol so what do you understand by disintegrant disintegrant means which facilitate the breakup it means the tablet when broken down in particles so it is it is broken down with the help of disintegrant means disintegrant helps in breaking up of the tablet so what do you understand by super disintegrant it means by exceeding the speed of disintegrant it becomes super disintegrant by 10x so answer is your sodium starch glycolate and sodium starch glycolate is used as super disintegrant and its name is also its other name is primo gel so make it a right note on primo gel yes primo gel is also used and there is another one that is avicel 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 is known as microcrystalline cellulose it is also your super disintegrant okay now moving on to the next question which of the following is not a type of tablet coating means not a type so let me very very clear my dear students not never accept these words are trying mainly they will confuse you in the questions when they will put a note in the question okay so in this question ask is not sugar coating film coating entry coating compression coating means there are three points which are which are steps of or your types of tablet coating and there is a single one which is not so answer is your compression coating sugar coating film coating and entry coating are a type of tablet coating okay so mainly compression coating is not your type compression coating involves a secondary layer of compressed material rather than traditional coating method okay now coming on to the next question in emulsion preparation the hlb value of an emulsifying agent determines the question is asked from the emulsion so what do you understand by emulsion emulsion is your biphasic system emulsion is your biphasic system biphasic means it contains oil and water and the question asked means hlb what is a hlb hlb is your hydrophilic lipophilic balance and it is discovered by griffin it is discovered by griffin in 1949 1949 what it, what it will do it will predict the nature of the surfactant it predict the nature of surfactant predict the nature of surfactant make a right make a short note nature of surfactant okay that is very very important yes so means there is an importance of hlb means the hlb value of an emulsifying agent determines that which type of emulsion formed or the color stability or viscosity or particle size it means no when you will select particular emulsifying agent with a particular um, hlb value so it helps you and it tells you that which type of emulsion formed it may be o by w emulsion it may be w by o emulsion so hlb value helps you in that so answer is type of emulsion formed now the answer is hlb value dictate whether an emulsifier will stabilize in oil in water or water in oil emulsion so let me tell you the most important example also of that 
there are two types of uh, emulsion mainly basically oil in water and the best example of oil in water uh, that is your vanishing cream vanishing cream yes and then second one is water in oil water in oil is your cold cream cold cream is a best example so please write a short note on because the question asked from this also now the next question is which type of gelatin is derived from bones and used for capsule production mainly the question asked from the capsule dosage form and basically from the gelatin topic the that which type of gelatin is derived from the bones and used for capsule production means green bones we can do so the question is kind of incomplete when there is a question green bones so you will select the type b there are two types of gelatin that is type a and type b type a is also known as pharma gel a pharma gel a and let me tell you the important points of the gelatin also please have a look on the isoelectric point of type a gelatin and type b gelatin yes i am writing this isoelectric point because the question asked from this isoelectric point isoelectric point from type a or type b okay chal moving on to the next question in tablet compression what components holds the upper and lower punches options are die cavity turret cam track or a hooper the question asked from the tablet dosage form and it is from the compression machine means there are two punches upper punch and the lower punch and in between the tablet get punch and it eject so we will so we will get the tablet so the question asked that which component is holding the upper and lower punch means the the upper one and the lower which component it holds so with the help of with the help of turret it get hold means turret will hold the turret will hold the upper punch and the lower punch the lower punch okay die cavity what will that what will uh, die uh, cavity do die cavity will select or decide the decide the shape and size the shape and size of that okay cam track what will cam track do cam track will guide the movement of punches will guide the movement of punches guide the movement of punches okay movement of punches means a camera type and a hopper is kind of feeding now a small recommendation for those who are preparing for the telangana pharmacist or south pharmacist exams or the four central and state level exams there are two books for in which uh, mainly a uh, aspirant should have this first one is for the non pharma syllabus that is non pharma kit it contains 5000 mcqs 3000 plus 2000 with the detailed explanation of the non pharma because in today's scenario the non pharma plays an a crucial role for the qualifying in pharmacist exam and second one is mission pharmacist exam or mission pharmacist it contains previous year papers of all the exam of central and state level which helps you to analyze your preparation and it is a the most amazing feature it is also having detailed explanation and these books have available on the flipkart flipkart with a cash on delivery option so do not wait because it will help you in your preparation order it with the help of cash on delivery from the flipkart it will help you now moving on to the next question in sugar coating which step is primarily used to add gloss to the tablet surface options are sealing polishing syruping or the sub coating means which tablet mainly defines the appearance or improve the appearance or the give the shining sealing polishing or syruping or sub coating if you will do a uh, polish on a shoe so it will a gloss it will make a shine 
yes with the help of polishing with the help of polishing it will add a gloss so what we will do in sealing 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 is done to prevent to prevent the moisture penetration in tablet coat to prevent the moisture penetration moisture moisture penetration moisture penetration in tablet coat in tablet coat so and the best example of effective sealant is shellac and zine shellac and zine shellac and zine okay so the answer is polishing step in sugar coating adds a final gloss to the tablet so answer is polishing next question is in a zero order kinetic reaction the rate of drug degradation is in a zero order kinetic reaction so the it means it is having a constant and independent of drug concentration yes in zero order kinetics the drug degrade at a constant rate yes regardless of the concentration of the drug now next question is who is regarded as the father of pharmaceutical education in india means who is the father of pharmacy who is the father of pharmacy education in india the question asked with respect to india so answer is yes professor ml shroff is the father of pharmacy of education in india and he is having the birth anniversary on 6th march yes please make a right note on 6th march and the if the question asks that who is the first pharmacist then the you your answer should be gallen is the first pharmacist and these type of question ask every year my dear students so please do not leave this kind of questions yes so answer is professor ml shroff or mahadev lal shroff is known as the father of pharmaceutical education in india okay now next question is in which year the first edition of the indian pharmacopoeia published means first indian pharmacopoeia and the year of publication what is the pharmacopoeia pharmacopoeia is that book or that standard book which contains all the information of drug means the purity means the evaluation parameter means the standardization means the isolation means the evaluation parameters of all the of uh, mainly contains all the information of the drug that is a pharmacopoeia and every country has its own pharmacopoeia like united states having the usp british having the british pharmacopoeia so ip means indian pharmacopoeia and the first edition published in 1955 here we are having a publications of with the year and with the chairperson so you will get a answer you will get a question from this that first edition in 1955 second 1966 third 1985 fourth 1996 fifth 2007 so these are the questions and under the chairmanship of the question asked from these types of points okay please write a short note on this now moving on to the next question which type of controlled release system uses biodegradable polymer for drug release means which type of control release system use biodegradable what do you mean by biodegradable means they degrade biologically we cannot make any uh, extra step to degrade them yes so in reservoir system in matrix or diffusion or biodegradable so answer is biodegradable system as simple as that biodegradable system uses polymers that degrade over time releasing drug in controlled manner as the polymer matrix dissolve so moving on to the next question in micro encapsulation in micro encapsulation which technique involves spraying the core material with coating material coaservation pen coating spray drying or solvent evaporation the question asks from the method of preparation of micro encapsulation please have a look on the method of preparation of the formulation like tablet capsule aerosol or the parenteral 
micron encapsulation so the question asked from the method of preparation answer is pen coating with the help of pen coating because pen coating is widely used for micro encapsulating solid particle by applying coating material in a rotating pen and the answer is asked from or the solution taken from theory and practice of industrial pharmacy and let me very very clear with you which I am giving you the mainly uh, the questions you will get in a PDF form in the WhatsApp or Telegram group. So you can join by checking on the description. You will get the links of the Telegram and WhatsApp. You will get the PDFs of that. Okay. Moving on to the next question. The limit for iron content of gelatin in capsule manufacturing means what would be the limit of the iron content? And the PPM denotes parts per million parts per million parts per million parts per million yes so answer is not more than yes iron content in raw gelatin should not be more than 15 parts per million yes the question asked from the basic parameters and uh, one more point important i want to add in this that uh, there is a, a point uh, of uh, bloom strength yes bloom strength so ideal bloom strength of gelatin is bloom strength that is 150 to 250 gram that is the ideal ideal value of the bloom strength okay now moving on to the next question which method is commonly used for filling powders into hard gelatin capsule means in a hard gelatin capsule from which method we will fill powders in the hard gelatin and how the hard gelatin capsule looks like means it is having the cap and it is having the body like this and in between this or this is a drug this is a drug and it is made up of gelatin and gelatin is of two type gelatin is of two type that is type a and type b as simple as that so answer is punch method okay with the help of punch method mainly we can fill the powder okay now next day which type of packaging is used for bulk handling and shipping the question asked from the pharmaceutical packaging means if we will do the bulk shipping like in a cartoons like in a cartoons big 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 cartoons so which type of packaging it is called primary no primary what what the primary packaging look like? I am giving an example. Just giving a uh, mainly. Uh, let's suppose uh, this is this is a this is a mic. Okay, this is a mic. If this mic, I will pack in a box that is a primary, and that box will that box will pack in a, another box like this. These are the box. This is a secondary, and this these types of box in packed in a in big box that is your tertiary so answer must be tertiary packaging yes when we will doing the shipping and packaging okay next question is which of the following is commonly used as preservative in ophthalmic preparation what preservative means preservative means it prevents the microbial growth so answer is benzyl conium chloride we will use next question is your which type of glass is used for storing strong acid and alkalis? And please write or mainly have a short note on. Please learn the types of glass with their test because the question asked from these types of points. So answer is type 1 borosilicate glass. Type 1 borosilicate glass. Because type 1 glass known as borosilicate and is highly resistant to chemicals and thermal stress making it suitable for strong acids and alkalis next step what is the primary function of packaging in pharmaceuticals what is the primary objective everyone has its own objective why you are watching this video because of the exam you want to qualify so what is the primary function of the to make or to protect the product to protect the product for the uh, it because it will degrade if you not product it will break Okay, so packaging in pharmaceutical designed to protect the product from spoilage, from contamination, from degradation. Now, next question is, which preservative is commonly used in injectable project? 
इंजेक्टेबल मींस द पेरेंट्रल्स सोडियम बेंजोइल इथेनॉल और फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड सो वी विल यूज द बेंजाइल अल्कोहल एज एन मेनली प्रिजर्वेटिव ओके बेंजाइल अल्कोहल इज फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज्ड इन प्रिजर्वेटिव इंजेक्टेबल फॉर्मूलेशन ड्यू टू इट्स एंटी माइक्रोबियल प्रॉपर्टी एंड इंश्योरिंग द स्टेरिलिटी स्टेरिलिटी मींस फ्री फ्रॉम माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्री फ्रॉम माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म यस ओके नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच टाइप ऑफ रबर इज नोन फॉर इट्स हीट रेजिस्टेंट एंड ऑयल रेजिस्टेंस व्हिच टाइप ऑफ रबर why we are studying rubber here because you can observe you can observe uh, in some of the injectable formulation we uh, we observe the rubber rubber closer rubber closer like this this is a kind of bottle this is your glass bottle let me and these are this is your rubber closer this is your rubber closer so the question asks that which type of rubber is known for heat resistant and oil resistance means oil and heat cannot affect that rubber so answer is your nitrile rubber nitrile rubber is known for its high resistance to heat and oils making it suitable for various pharmaceutical applications including closers and packaging materials now moving on to the next question which of the following is a disadvantage of plastic packaging in pharmaceuticals means we have to tell the disadvantage means the the worst point of the plastic packaging the answer is impermeability to gas and vapor because if we will mainly pack a product which is having a gas issue or the vapor issue so the plastic what will do from the plastic it will impermeate and it will get outside of that and would cause hazardous things okay now next question is in sugar coating which step is used to build up the tablet size means every step has its own objective like sealing to prevent the moisture penetration and the sub coating is having the step is to build up the tablet size about 50 to 80% 50 to 80% of the tablet yes that is the correct point so the sub coating step in sugar coating layers to increase the tablet size and achieve a uniform size or uniform weight before final layers to be applied now the last question of today's mock series is that which preservative is known for its anti fungal anti fungal means which the which is doing against the fungus activity is commonly used in topical means topical if you will use for the skin that is a topical one so answer must be propyl paraben propyl paraben is an anti fungal preservative widely used in topical creams and lotion to prevent the fungal contamination or fungal points okay so i hope students you like the initiative of the pharmacy india team and as promised we are going to continue with this series for the telangana pharmacist for the special mock 25 papers with the detailed explanation and please share with your friends and students if you are watching in a college thank you we will meet again in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat